And some anger as a community grieves the loss of a St. Joseph woman shot and killed in Midtown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Van Zant. Family, friends, and even some strangers to, uh, for 25-year-old Minda Miller gathered in her honor while taking a stand against gun violence. KQ2's Ron Johnson there this evening. Friday night, a community said goodbye to one of their own at Patty Park. We invited the community to support Minda. This is all on behalf of Minda. Balloons and sky lanterns released and candles lit to honor 25-year-old Minda Miller, whose life was cut short by gun violence. The vigil organized by grieving friends and family and supported by all those who knew Minda and then some. The last time I checked this evening before we came, there was 256 people saying they were coming. That's amazing. It really shows how much Minda was loved and how many people sh really cared about her. As painful as the loss is for those who knew her, organizers said there's also anger that their loved one is yet another victim claimed by gun violence. They say they want to see change. These people that are out on the streets that have these charges, they need stiffer sentences, obviously because that's not working. So that no other family has to endure the pain of losing a loved one so tragically. Nobody wants to get a phone call that this happened to somebody in their family, their, their brother, their sister, their daughter. It's horrible. Ron Johnson, KQ2 News. Miller's family says the Midtown area has changed in recent years and they hope her death can spread awareness about bringing forth positive change. Meanwhile, many at the vigil said they want to see stricter penalties for those who possess firearms illegally. This evening's event.